Uh, hi everyone, uh, welcome to Adresh TV. My name is Martin DiMaggio, and today we will talk about false friends between Albanian Skip and Geg and uh, Arbores from Sicily. And a false friend is when a word has the same etymology and sounds the same, but may have a completely different meaning. Sometimes these meanings are uh, fun, and sometimes they are extremely different, and sometimes they completely impede intelligibility. So it's interesting. Today we will only focus on uh, words of uh, shared Albanian etymology between Arboresh and Geg Albanian. So uh, over to Lydia to begin. Falem, Uthritem Lydia, Iam Eleva in Argentina, Buenos Aires, Ma Prindrat Ishun Arboresh, Cajora y Arboreshvet. Piana degli Albanesi, un sova glu junte spia, iam linguista e iam professoressa, iam zogn, un sogn gluht. Zogn, zogn, nice to meet you. Un iam dritro, iam sciptare Kosovas, studiai histori, cto na Finland, na facultet, na facultet in Helsinki, the printe mi, Jan prej Mitrovicës, Mitrovicës është në qëtetë në verit Kosovës, po edhe unë jam lind në Kosovë, po si 4 vjetë qarë, kër i kam pas 4 vjetë, jemi bajtë kanadë, në Kanada, në Ontario. Dhe atë jam vitë. Por, mas dysa viteve, jemi bajtë për herën e dytë, jemi këthy në Evropë, kemi ardhë në Finlandë. Dhe me thonë, si gjithë shqiptartë, Kemi imi grut disa herë. Kam brekt të vegji. Të vegji. A e thonë pa meta. Kam brekt të vegji. Ok. So in my dialect, the sentence sounds extremely familiar. We'd say kam brekt të vegji would be I have small underwear. Aha. Një ishtë underwear, për neve ishtë brektulinda. Mmm, brektulinda. Brekt, mu djenë brekt. Pantalon. Po, po, po. Po, I figured. Aha. Në ti do thuash brekt underwear ishtë brektulinda, për neve. Brektulinda. Interesant. Fjalimi im. My phrase is ulete sheshi. Ulete sheshi. Ulete sheshi. Por mu a vien murar se ile he was born you were born in one one neighborhood called sheshi. Do you have the word sheshi in Arboresh? Oh, Kemi New, uh, New, we have a neighborhood called Sheshi. Okay, but the word itself doesn't mean anything. Na, Purneve, the word Sheshi is the new, 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 one neighborhood. Like okay. you could say, for instance, uh, I don't know. Uh, East End in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's the name, it would be the, uh, a name simply. Yeah. Um, so, Ule te Sheshe. Have you heard the word Sheshe used in, in the Albanian of the Balkans? Yeah. Nishkip. Nishkip. I think that Shkip is um, square. Exactly. Like a so town square. Is, but I thought. I could, you could not be born in the piazza in the in the square because it's a public place. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't I haven't heard of that either. But, <laughs> but the word um, sheshi in Arbres is piazza, piazza, piazza. It's a okay. completely different word. And yeah. um, did you say piazza? Piazza, piazza, piazza yeah. Piazza, is, is it like the Italian piazza? Exactly. It's similar, but it's Q, Q. 
Piazza. Ah, Piazza, yeah. yeah. Interesting. And, and uh, Sheshi originally means plateau. Mm. Like Piana, Piana, uh, literally had, Piana. Sheshi, Tejora, is the new vent twist auto. Large, yeah. is new oh. auto. Is new and this is this is used in gag and i'm wondering if if it's related to the latin auto probably yes yeah. i've never thought of this but the yeah. reason that lydia is saying this is because shesh the, the region of Piana, which is called Sheshi, is high up in the in like on the mountainside. Mm. And the that, highest that, place of the town. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And that yeah. was the original place where the people came and settled in Piana. And the name of Piana back then is Chora Sheshi. Wow. And Piana so like the, is the, the translation. Flat, the flat village. Right? Yeah. So Sheshi is the translation of the Italian word piano. Right, right. Very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Zoti is new copil i Okay. Zoti is new copil i mm. I don't know if, uh, if this is cheating, but I'm, I'm aware from before that copil in in older Albanian, in, in Albanitica and Albresh, it means simply boy, correct? Young man. Young man, okay. Whereas in, in, in Albanian, in modern Albanian, it's, it's a curse word, more or less. Yeah, I know, it's a bastard, right? Yeah, bastard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that today bastards are uh, hmm. you know, despised. Today. No, no. <laughs> Zote ashni ishte ni kopeli bukur. Yeah. It could mean. I'm guessing in this case we're not referring to to God, as in Zote, but maybe like a lord or a gentleman. So the gentleman was a beautiful young man. So Zote mundiet the owner of a place, mm -hmm. but in this case Zote, we said is the priest. Ah. New Zod is a priest. Interesting. Ah, did you say Imzot? Oh, uh, New Zod. Eh, Tommy, Imadin Zod. Oh. For God, we mm -hmm. say Imadin Zod. Zoti, priest. Zotrat, the priests. Mm. Because New I've Zod. seen. Um, Usually that's a title for priests in Albanian as well. Imzot. Imzot Judge Fishta. Uh-huh. Imzot is another word for God. So when we Mad address uh, when we address the the priest, uh, uh, we say Papa. Papa Lifteri. Papa Sutiri, Papa, we call them Papa. Flasium mm. diata, purata, so me zot. Aha. So when you address them in first person, it's Papa. Oh. When you speak to, about them in third person, it's zoti. Oh. To show respect, interesting. Oh. And then there is another, there is another um, aspect of the sentence. You mm. said. Uh, zoti ish near copil ipokushum. It means what for you, Tritra? It would mean, um, do you mean the, the word copil or uh, no? I mean, like now you have understood uh, what the zoti copil, means yeah. and copil, yeah. yeah. So it ish, the, was ish, was, yeah. Mm. And Lydia, it doesn't mean was, right? Mm. It means is. Well. Mm. So, so how would you say is? Friends. Well, how would you say is? Ist. 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 So, okay, so ist is ist. What about was? Ish. Ish. Okay, there, there's a similarity with uh, 
with my yeah. dialect, we would say instead of standard of being ishte, let's say ishte thought, it was called. We say ish thought, ish thought. Oh, ish thought. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's another meaning for for zot when we say zoti spis. Oh, owner. Huh? I'll need that when I visit when I visit okay. Piano Cola. Ya me vete te putiga, for example, you come. Ya me vete te putiga. See, in in uh, in my dialect in Albanian in general, I think we don't use zote for owner anymore. We say pronade, which is from Greek, I think. Ah, okay. Pronade, prona is property, uh, but with the zoti piece, we usually mean the man of the house. Mm. Flini memua. Flini memua is the you two or more than two mm -hmm. talk to me or talk. with me. There we go. Uh, talk to me or yeah, that's right. Well, okay. And the only one person is fit. Yes. So in 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 Albanian, if we wanted to say speak to me or arbrash flini memua, we would say flisne. Uh, in standard, flisne memua, or in gag, folne, folne memu. Okay. So the grammar is completely different, the conjugation of oh, yeah? the verb Actually, to speak. Yeah. Because in this case, it leads to a particularly uncomfortable mm -hmm. situation where flini, mm -hmm. the sentence in, in Albanian means flini memua means sleep with me. Flini. Ah, flini is sleep with me? Yes, flini. Yeah. You flini nostrat. You sleep on the bed. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh, na flum te strati. Mm, na, na yemi nu eh, mm. flum mm. te strati. And you, you, uh, fluni te strati. Okay. You fluni. That sounds. Mm. That sounds very similar to. To my dialect in Gag, where we say you flane. Ah. We have the, the nasal a. Ah. You flane. Na ah. flyen. Na flum. This is very, very different. If you say flini <laughs> memua, <laughs> means something very, very different. Indeed. <laughs> the fresh. Look, we yeah. just met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An Albanian in, in the Albrecht settlements would say slow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dale, 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 dale. <laughs> dale, 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 dale. <laughs> but, but also there is another interesting grammatical uh, difference um, that um, you is for us plural. It's only plural. It's not used for one person. Uh -huh. Right. But for, for instance, in Albanian, we have two singulars. One for respect and, and colloquial. If, if I speak to you colloquially, I say T. Mm -hmm. But if I hear respect, strote. Strote. Oh. Strote. Say, Muma, Muma, a curflis me to human, ithushi strote. Curflis me mica, te me mua, me meti me maotre, sush T. Bon. So it's Zotteria oh. Yote. Sotrote. Ah, Sotria Yote. So it's not it's not a borrowing, it's an innovation. Well. Uh -huh. Zot, yeah, Zotrote from Zotteria Yote then yeah. became Strote. So Zotria Yote, Zotrote, and then Strote. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to start using this in, in my own. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful phrase. Speru seu covid is koi brunda. Speru seu covid is koi brunda. I couldn't catch the first part. 
Espero se. Espero se. O Covid. Covid. Iscoi mm -hmm. Brenda. Ok. So. The Spero se, it sounds like. It sounds like it's not Albanian, but it's like I hope, is it? Yes, very good. I very hope. Good. I hope that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the second part would make sense in Albanian, in a sense. Uh, COVID ishkoi brunda. In my dialect, it would mean the COVID went inside of him. But uh -huh. I'm assuming in this case, you mean I hope that the COVID went away? I would say without going to the hospital? Without going to the hospital, Iškoi Brunda. Yeah, because Iškoi Brunda, you put him going to the hospital. So that the, it disappeared. He didn't, he didn't have the need to go to the hospital. It was a light COVID case. Ah, Iškoi Brunda. It, Mm -hmm. it, it didn't have ne the need to go to the hospital. Okay. Because you didn't need a mask or anything. So when somebody has like a light case of something, they don't need to go to the hospital, you say, you should call Brenda? Oh. Well, so it sort of means like the body, is, does it mean a sense that the body sort of absorbed it or? No. I would mean, yeah. say, you know, it was light. And he didn't so, need to go to the hospital. Yeah. He or she didn't so the, need to go. So there are two false friends, Skon, Skon, and Brenda. Mm -hmm. Skon and Brenda have two different meanings in Skip and in Arbres. Can you figure it out between you? Okay. Skon and Brenda. Uh, for you. Uh, Skon, I think I think we may have discussed this that Skon is like to go over, right? In our brush? To pass. To pass, right. Skon is to pass. And Brenda, maybe away or something. Brenda is inside the house. Oh, so it's the same in our brush. It's inside. Ah, I was said inside the house at home. Wow. That is fascinating. Yeah. So, Brenda. for example, Yamevete Brenda, Yamevete Brenda, I'm going home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, and for us, I'll be, I'm going inside. Yes. But you, we can also use Brenda to say, for instance, I don't know, if I, I'm putting a, a nail on the wall and I would say, Hire mu a Brenda. Yeah. Meaning, put it in. Put it more, uh, put it deeply. You right. Know? Right. Yeah, a Brenda. A Brenda. A brunda. Mm. Exactly. Uh, mm. Because yes. the verb, we forgot to say the verb, shkoi, mm. uh, in my dialect, it's going. It's the most uh, commonly used uh, word for uh, going in general, in yeah. geg. But in mm. standard Albanian and southern dialects, uh, I'm under the impression that it's pretty rarely used. They use vaitur, kam vaitur, veme, vete. And I'm wondering Same if, correct. yeah. So I'm wondering if if shkoi is used in a similar sense in. It's in the sense that, you know, that that pass from one place right. to the other. Right. So I'm wondering if it's used in a similar sense in, in, in some uh, southern uh, dialects. When we speak about illnesses, when we say get over, we say ishkoi. Ishkrebun ma ishkoi. Mm. Uh, he had the fever, but he got over it. Ishkoi, meaning isosi. Isosi? Do you isosi. use that as well? Isosi, meaning it finished. Right, we use sosi as well in Kosovo a lot. If something is sosi, it's done. Yeah. For it to finish. Sosi, so you will see me. But you could be a you. In Sistiria, in Sistiria, in Sistiria. You understand? Yeah. And I wanted something. I would. I wanted something. I would insist. So my mother said, "So say, say you would see mis, see mis, mis, like a flyer." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, I, I had I had no idea that the the word sauce. So it's not that commonly used in Kosovo. It's more like we'd say villager talk. Uh, well, in, in a yeah, sense, I'm like really... I did, we didn't grow up using it a lot. In That's my right. family, we'd say "purfundaya." Uh, it's more formal way of saying finish it, or like "kruya." We say "ukru," it's done. Ah, "ukru," okay. ukru. Mm -hmm. so we don't I, even have that no that sound. We don't have it. It's an in our, in our language. So no. you say "sit." First suit, oh, yeah. Suit, right. Uh, D. D. Suit. Three at. Three at. Right, right. D. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like Arvanitika, they have. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Smeruse Ishkoi Brenda means, I hope he got over it at home. Well. Mm, and yeah. we would say in my dialect, we'd say. Spresoi, which is also of Latin origin, Spresoi, Ch, Ikaloi. Ikaloi. So, our verb for to, to pass or to go over means is Kalo. So, Nadia Buru Kaluar is like to go on a horse or ah. on the bicycle, you Buru Kaluar. Mm -hmm. Tejo, um, tejo. Buru uh, Kaluar. And we say, uh -huh. we say Kaloras for uh, for somebody on horseback. Funde Ast Shumimad. I think I think I know the false friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know the word, I know the word, but uh, for me it's very funny mm. because for us, fundi is mm, the ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, Reisa y Caimadin fundi. But so, fundi is sumima, the end, or yeah, the end is very big, but the end of what? Of mm. anything? So if we if we interpret it as meaning the end, it's sort of an abstract sentence. The end yeah. is very big, uh, but it could also mean a skirt. Am my doubt? Uh, funde. Yeah. Fundi, e para herchu pash fialun, is fundi i filmit. Po. Fundi filmit, e mume e i me motre i ubreito me tham. <laughs> so, how, so how do you say she has a very big skirt in uh, in your in your variety, Britro? A kafundin shuntumaz. A kafundin shuntumaz. Ose or fundin a katmada. Funde fundi sayoshnima. When you go to when you go to Siana and you if you go in Easter and you see everyone in the traditional costume, don't don't ask anybody. Uh, <laughs> this is not gonna. No, because the class is really vulgar. Mm. Yes, very mm -hmm. vulgar word. Interesting, because yeah. I would have I would have assumed that it was the softer one, as in backside. Because that's not vulgar in English. But what happened, you know what? What happened with the language is that in the old days, people didn't want to say the word that corresponds, you know? Like in French, they say derriere, mm. you know? Uh, but little by little, you know, don't forget, it's 500 and more years, they probably forgot the real word for fundi. Mm. <laughs> the real word, and they kept only this one, which is more elegant, but with the time, it became vulgar. Right, it became the only word for it. That's right, it, the, the word uh, changed the meaning in a very pejorative way. Mm. You see? Mm. 
So we, for us, funding now is a word we don't say. Okay. So is there is there a, a word children would use that wouldn't be offensive? I don't know. I really don't know because I haven't been uh, there for, the last time I was there is 1993. So imagine, well, well. Uh, I, I don't know uh, how they speak today. Ah, yeah, I know, but I haven't lived with them to, what do they say? I don't know, I don't hmm. know. Do you know? Um, in my family, we don't use these words. <laughs> so uh -huh. I, I was always forbidden from using these words. Okay. My my grandmother used to tell me some bad words and she used to <laughs> pretend that they were Italian words for other things. And she used to tell me to ask my granddad and he was very uh, forbidding it. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could, maybe a kid would say, Fundicelli. Fundicelli. Mm. Yeah. It makes it sound a bit more cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was a good one. <laughs> Very important lesson to not ask uh, Arabresh women about mm. their skirt. Right. In, <laughs> in their skip. Yeah. How, how would you uh, say uh, dress? Fustan. Uh, vest. Vest. Uh, vest. Vestun uh, arbreche when is uh, Jugona o Nsilona. 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 Is it with, Nsilona. An, with an X or, or with a Nsilona? Right. Nsilona. But this is really the most expensive, the one that is all uh, embroidered in gold. Mm. Completely. That's in Silona. This, this one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The famous one. Yeah. yeah. The famous one. And Kurisha Evogul, Gruje Shakastrati, it was Shamomus. Mo, Chukabu sod. Do you understand? What did what she I, wear today? What should I wear today? Mumamu oh. respondir uh, here. In Silonon. Like sarcastically. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have in Ceylon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got booze in Ceylon. Mm. <laughs> what is the problem? Wear whatever you want, you know. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mi dema musucia. Jugonun me die in purpara e hunzun frapa. Do you understand that? Could you repeat it? Jugonun, jugonun. Jugona is like a, a, a skirt, a big, mm. big skirt. Me, hunzun brapa e dierin purpara. Me, hunzun brapa e dierin purpara. Dierin purpara. Would that be honor? Dier? Forward or dierin? Yeah. Mm. Uh, We'd say. Mm. I thought of did as an honor, but we also sing Gere as in uh, the late, <laughs> as in somebody who's yeah. passed away. So it's none of those. Diegi. Ah. The sun. Diegi. Diegi. And you say it with, a, with an R. G. G. Diegi. Diegi. Like the, the throat. Diegi. Not Yeah. Is it the G? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, right. So all the law you said became G A E. Right, right. Yeah. So Dieri Purpara. Prapa. Mm-hmm. Hunzun Purpara. Hunzun. Hona? Maybe the moon? Yes. Okay, Hunza. How do you spell that? I'm doing it now. Uh, I think I wrote it correctly. Hunza. Wow. Hunza. Hunza. So wow. the, peop the people cannot, will not be able to see uh, what you wrote. So H E umlaut N Z A. Hunza. Mm. Yeah. When you see it written, it's obvious it would be Hunna. 
just with an added z. Right. But uh, but if I just heard it, as we as we just witnessed with, with I heard I if I'd known it was about nature or something, maybe I would have under, understood yeh right. and yele. But in this case, we're talking about a dress. Right. Uh, no idea what I thought it had to do with honor, dere, dere, or or the moon. I thought of nose, hunda. When you ah, said hunda. Hunda. Ah. <laughs> it was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. Buyum tu skoin. Buyum tu skoin. Buyum tu skoin. Buyum tu skoin. Is this? I think this is the verb we discussed. Shko. So to pass. Right. So to shkoin to pass. Buyum. Buyum to shkoin. Could you use it in, in a longer sentence? Okay. So I would say buyum to shko to shkoin say to new ist event. Hmm. Okay. There's no space. Right? Yeah. Okay, so okay, so it starts with a B, buyum, but maybe it's similar to our uh to have to do Uh is it I we I have to go? No, because I am asking you to do something for me. Buyum um. Could you move? Well, let me pass. Let me pass. Buyum. Buyum. Huh? Make me pass in a way. Okay. If you translate literally, this make me pass. Ah, so Buyum, buyum is it like, is it like uh, the verb to do? Do for me? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so it's like, boom, boom to shkoi. Oh. would say maybe. Not that this is a phrase we still use, but boom to shkoi. Oh. And you say boom, boom to shkoi. Mm -hmm. Well, that took a, that was quite amazing. <laughs> yeah. What did you, what did you say boy means? Uh, in, in Gag Albanian, in, in Kosovo, boy is to, to sleep over. Oh. So if I say nun, bab, mother, father, un po boy. Sonte te shoko. I'm staying te over at my friend's place. Shoko. Po. Shoko is my friend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Another false friend. <laughs> yeah, another false friend. Yeah. Speaking of friends. <laughs> yeah, because shock is another false friend, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What does it mean in Urbish? A husband. What? Ah, we use it. We use it, we use it that way too. What? What did you say, Martin? Chuck is husband. That's the that's husband. very very interesting because in in uh, sure. Kosovo Albanian, for example, shock, shocha, male friend, female friend. We use we use it in that sense, but we also use it for husband and wife as well, ah. just like you guys do. So so my mm. mother would say about my dad shokoin, and my father mm. would say about my mother. Shocha, mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Because we changed it. Is a fronting, there is a fronting of the sound k. Because mm. when you say shock, the k is here. Mm. But when you say shock, the sound is made here. Mm. There is a fronting. Of the plosive, mm. Mm? right, right. Mm. And you and you said boy means sleep over, whereas mm -hmm. in Arbaresh it means do it. Yeah, mm. right. Yeah. It's interesting how much a, a single vowel difference can make. It means can make because the boy in in standard Albanian is also I do boy, but the moment it becomes boy. It's unrecognizable to us. It, as, as I said, it could mean to sleep over. Yeah. It could mean anything else. Yeah, very totally different. Yeah. yeah. Very, very but it's, in, it's very interesting how we both use a short shot, short, uh, short the same way, but we've maintained mm. two, two meanings in Kosovo, mm. which makes everything yeah. confusing 
when I was a kid and I heard my father say a short I said, but that's your wife, it's not your friend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ah, interesting. Yeah. The Buyam Tushkonya, um, in my dialect, because my family's, although my uh, most of my cousins live in Piana, um, but my my village is four kilometers away, and uh, we have another dialect which is similar. And for us, we say "mun mm, demeshkosh." Yeah, they say "buyam tushkon," and we say "mun emeshkosh." Uh-huh. Yeah, that's very interesting because if you'd say "mun mushkosh" in standard Albania, uh, if you'd ever say that. It makes grammatical sense, but it would mean you can go for me. Ah. Yeah, like you can go, you can pass. You're right. You, yeah. can, you can pass. Yeah. Whereas in piano, they say, make me pass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we, but it's a little bit like in English, let me yeah. pass. Yeah. Let me pass. Yeah, yeah. It's like in but, English, let me pass. Yeah, but we have this little bit of friendly um, adversary like kind of relationship so that we always laugh because in piano for sit down, they say to you. To you. Tu you. Yeah. We say man to you. We are, mm. we are, we are always the polite allowing ones. the other person. Like, yeah, more, you, you they are pola- more polite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, do you, like an order. They say, like a dog. Permission. <laughs> giving permission. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's we would say, we would say, Ulune. 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 No, 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 I me thush. Uyu. Instead of saying to you, no, no, I thush. Uyu. E kur thush. Ka uyem. For katuyem. Oh, katuyem. I will oh. sit. Uh, I will sit. She will say kauyem. Rita Ka- uyu gif diton. Rita uh, uyu gif diton. Interesting. We say ulion or ulur. Uh-huh. And to uh, one person, of L. course, yeah, the, the light L, and we'd say to the single person, oh. of course, ulo. Um, and you say uyo, or your grandmother said uyo. This makes me think, uh, if you'd say this to an Albanian, they would think of uy, water. Yeah, we also so, say uy for water. So you say uy for water as well. Oh, okay. Uy. I was wondering if maybe you had a different word for it. No, uy is uy. Jela Ostemir. Jela. Ist emir. Well, Istemir is, is good, mm-hmm. but Jela. So here you might need to change the sound a bit. Like if you may be J, maybe you might say J. Mm-hmm. And then. Jela, Jela, Jela. Right. Jela Istemir. Life is good. Mm-hmm. This, this ah. is very, this is very interesting because, and we, and we mean something completely different when we say Jela or Gier, Gier. Oh. Um, And it's a, it would be impossible to, to guess, I think, um, what, what we mean by Jela, because it's completely different from life. We use uh-huh. it to mean something that you need in order to live. Ah. Something like you what? eat. Yeah, Yera. Something we eat is that. Mm-hmm. So my parents would say, "Eane me hunger, come eat." Kimi jail, and I would say oh. no when I was a kid because uh, nobody wanted to eat jail. <laughs> ah, jail, jail, jail. Ah, jail. I have no idea what it is. An example of jail is fasol or fasule. Ah. That we eat in cost for beans. Okay, the beans. Jela is beans. Jela is generally a stew or like a warm meal. Ah, okay. But we don't have the word, uh, that word, uh, Martin. We don't have that word. No, that's why it's a false friend. Because, <laughs> yeah, Gera and Jela is the same etymology, 
in Albanian, uh-huh. but means soup or stew in Albanian, and life in Albanian. Mm. Wow. Wow. Completely different. Yeah. yeah. So is it possible that my ancestors centuries ago used it to mean life as well? Possibly. No. And you guys no. preserved the meaning, whereas we changed it? I, I do believe this is the correct hypothesis because you also have um, Rinjalia, mm. like right. Renaissance. Right. Yeah. So this this verb actually jal we yeah. have as well ja mm. ja is alive yeah. 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 Mm. and we still yeah. say we still Lazar, say yeah christos anesti christi yun ja oh. ah exactly and every day we use the term jal in, in albanian as well ayers jal is is alive or mishe uh, ijal Raw meat, ah, raw fish, fish yeah, jaw. Yeah, yeah. But it's interesting. I never, I never thought of jaw alive having any relation to jail stew. <laughs> yeah, interesting. You know, maybe they were so rich these stews that they gave you life. Mm-hmm. They still do. They still do <laughs> during the winter. Exactly, <laughs> and in I in the church. Know, yeah, in the, in, the, in, the, in the church in Tiana, they say, Kam mukatruar tegeraime. I have sinned in my life. I have what? Sinned. Sinned. Okay. Did you say, did you say gatruar for sin? Yeah, kam mukatruar. Ah, mukatruar. Okay, mukatruar. Yeah. Mukatruar, mukati. Oh, mukati. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we say yeah. mukati as well. Tegeraime. So mm-hmm. if they said, if an Albanian person hear that, they say, oh, he sinned in his soup. Mm. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't finish his soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, yemi dundur. Yemi dundur. Yemi dundur. Mm. So I could think of two words here. We have dandur. In, in Albanian, which means, uh, I think, dense. Dance? Uh, de- something is dense. Ah, dense, dense. Yeah, or like very, ah, very close. Dance, so, yeah. uh, it could also mean uh, vendor, thunder, which vendor. means, uh, is it brother-in-law or? Ah, it's a, fam- it's a relation, but not, Brother-in-law. No, oh, no brother-in-law. That would be our thunder. I will give you an example, okay? Another one. Say, Yemi dundur, duhe mi mir, kamartone mi. Is it, uh, we're engaged? We're fiancés. Well, right, right. So the dundur is a yeah, fiancé. We are going out together. We are going out together. You know, in the old days, Dundur is really fiancé. Mm-hmm. But now it's just when you start going out with somebody, you say Dundri. Okay, so you're seeing mm-hmm. someone or you're dating, you mean Dundur. Yeah, yeah. But Mubara to sushi Dundur. Mubara kishie kumb te spia asai. You bur kishie, you kopil kishie kumb te spia e nuses. E la, la, la familia que está sucio o ahora pone una ceremonia e a mi pest e ahora nani es un dundur right right so tita I'm gonna say it in gags in case you understand it bude hem de calión progne deras e de acorcón Kurkan play print the uh Domathon uh per Doran e voices. Per Dor na he he un kumban. Po at the vetamater atayan dunder. Ah Kurpranohet Kurpranohet uh Bure the Apoyo Bure the Grapo Moshkole the the Femna. Mm-hmm. See Chift. Akinifyalin, do you have the word chift? 
Chift. Yeah. 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 Hmm. It means uh, it means a couple. We use it. Ah. And it's where a word for chifteli, the instrument, comes from, with the with the two strings. Ah. Nice. Yeah. This this is dunder. Yemi dunder. It's like another way to say we are a couple. Right. That's so different Basically. from dunder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and um, Lydia was explaining. I think you understood, but maybe to to clarify. She was explaining that you needed to ask, basically you needed to get permission to be considered that you were dating officially. So you had to do like a little ceremony to go to the house yeah. of the of the girl. And yeah, you would, that was, yeah. yeah. And the, the, literally it means to enter the foot. Literally, uh -huh. here it comes. Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. yeah. So that, that was what the, the ceremony was called. Yeah, so they went to the house, they took the presents, uh, they received presents, uh, all those things, you know. Mm. Yeah. And then you probably could be seen in girls, public so, together. <laughs> probably yeah. the, the, girls, uh, the family of the girls show, shows uh, Payun, Paya I, is... Uh, how would you say? La dota in Italian. La dota, la dota in yes. Italian. The dowry. Oh. The dowry, that's it. Dowry. The dowry. Because it was very important. The dowry mm. was very important. So the girl, when a girl was born, from the very beginning, every time it was her birthday, the people, the, especially women, gave her things to increase her dowry, like uh, tablecloths and uh, sheets for the bed and things like that, but not anymore now, but it was like that. I received a tablecloth when I was eight. Do you understand a tablecloth? Yeah, yeah. When I was eight. And that was not before because we were living in Argentina and somebody mm. went to Italy and brought the present. Otherwise, why I did, would have been before. Why did you receive the, the tablecloth? Because somebody went to, to, to Piano degli Albanesi and one of my aunts decided to send me a present. Uh -huh. I thought you meant the... the... We're for the about paya, the for the paya, for the paya, for, for the, the dowry. dowry. Mm. Okay. And only then, when you did have the paya and you made the ceremony, then you can say yemi donder nani, and then you could be seen in the street with that right. person holding the hand. Or <laughs> Before uh, they were you always were, three, huh? Yes. They were yeah, yeah, always yeah. three. Yeah, 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 mm. and. There was before you you were friends and then engaged. There was no yeah. girlfriend boyfriend. Right. Friends right. then engaged. Right. This is why this yeah. this ceremony, just ceremonia, yeah. uh, yeah. is is surprising me as well because I didn't know there were ceremonies related to becoming engaged. Well, it's thought, not a real ceremony, but you know people get together. It's like a tradition. Yeah. Right. You know the family of the boy goes to the house of the family of the girl. And they, I don't know if there are words said, but there is a, but it, it is intended to mark the beginning of this commitment and they will get married. Mm. Even in my time, uh, there were some families still that uh, the boy would go and ask uh, the father permission to start dating the girl before he ever ever said anything mm. to get permission. Mm. I know my, yeah. my cousins, for instance, I have some cousins who are older than me, where the, 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 the young man went to the father of the girl and said, um, uh, I like your daughter very much. I think I am in love. Can I invite her out? Mm. And then the father would say no or yes, or say, of course, go ahead. And mm. 
Generally, they would say, of course, to go ahead if the boy, if the boy had a good job. They were very happy, but if the boy didn't have a good job, they wouldn't be happy. <laughs> right. So now, so now you understand all of the meaning of blunder in uh, in Albrecht. Right. Right. And what's and what's the meaning in uh, Albanian? I think brother-in-law. It's interesting because yeah, it's the it's the groom. Sorry, but ah. it's it's apparently all, all yeah, of, it, it's brother-in-law. Yeah. Kunat is also another word, brother-in-law. Yes, Kunat, we say Kunat. Mm. Kunat, yeah. Yim Kunat. The next one is Yeta Öst Eskurt. Ah. Tu e di. Tu puneve Yeta Ist the world. Mm. The world. So Ist Eskurtur is short. But a few days ago, we have been doing uh, false friends with with some people in the group, and I think yeta is llega, life. Mm -hmm. nah? Yes, correct. So your life is short. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. it is very short. So how would you say? Uh, how would you? What's the verb for to live? Would you use the the? Roy. 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 Right, right. Because we would say I yeton. He lives. Ah. Yeton. No. Whereas that's only Ron. And that's Uduaron Kentani. Uduaron Pusempri. Uduaron. I want to live right. for a hundred years. Uduaron mm. Kentani. That's that's very beautiful because. In Albania, we still have the expression when somebody says, Falim did it, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you. Somebody says back, Rosh. Ah, so, there you go. May you live long. That's beautiful. And it seems we lost the uh, we lost the use of it as a general verb for to live, whereas you right. preserved it. Ron. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Very interesting. And wow. it's a name as well in, in Albania, Ron. Ron? Mm. That's nice. It's a nice Very name. nice. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, great. That was um, not too difficult. No. We had some easy no, ones, and some more difficult ones. Yeah. yeah. How did you How did you feel about it? How, how was again, it? Lydia? Okay. Oh, I like to do this. I like mm. very much. And I have so many things all the time to say. And I don't have the time to say everything because I, <laughs> at the same time, I want to listen to what the others say. Mm. And it's so fascinating and enriching. Yeah, I love it. Mm. And you are a very good co keeper. Thank you. Falling in there. <laughs> well, you are the leader, but mm. he is a very good co keeper. Ah, so you're, you speaking, you're speaking to me? Yes. Oh, thank you. Same. same. <laughs> I thought you were referring to Martin as like a mediator. No, no, Martin is the mediator. Right. He's the leader. I call right. him the leader. Right. <laughs> Our great leader. <laughs> Our great leader. <laughs> no, you are the co keeper. <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed this this dialogue because well, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You you know, uh, it's not just learning uh, Arbresh for me, which is fascinating, but I also learn about my own dialect. For right. example. Uh, for example, uh, with jaw and jail, I would have never yeah. seen the connection. And it's all these everyday words that have these very, very, uh, these very interesting histories behind them. Yeah. yeah. Like funde. <laughs> we, we had a we had a good laugh. Yeah. I'm really That's glad wonderful. you both enjoyed it. Um, we can uh, we can do some more in the future. Maybe if people watching can let us know what they want to hear you two talking about next time. And uh, we can discuss that together. Okay. okay. Um, so, Khalif uh, Sif, you Khalif Sif, Sheikh Aminiza. Oh, Sheikh Aminiza. Yeah, Miru Pashin from there. Miru Pashin. You Khalif Sif. You Khalif Sif, Tomina. You Khalif Sif. Yeah. 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 Yeah.